Hello everybody out there and welcome to our channel. Today, on this video here, we're going to review the LTD SH-7. It's got Fishman Fluence pickups and an Evertune bridge. I'm gonna do some lead playing and get you an idea so you can see what it sounds like with a looper.
Okay, so I put it through its paces. This is a very inspiring guitar to play. If you're thinking about getting one, well, maybe you should. Maybe it's time you come full circle and get yourself the seven string model. I find it with a very wide neck. It's got a very wide neck on it, but it's comfortable to play. It's, I don't know if anybody's ever showed you. That's about how flat it is. I don't know how much of that you can see on the, on the screen there, but it's pretty flat, but it's not super flat. It's got some chunk to it. And then Fishman Fluence pickups, boy, they really sing. I really like those things. They're, they're pretty good. They have the uh, toggle between passive and active, but I bet you they're probably both active, in my opinion. It's got that flamed maple top, which seems to be pretty good. This guitar is a real go-getter. I mean, you could really get out there and really get some licks done. It, it inspired me to play a lot more than I've been playing. And it's my go-to guitar, and it's probably the only guitar I'll probably ever want to play anymore. I hardly ever pick up my other ones, and I got a bunch of them, but that being said, this thing is really great. It's a real pleasure. When they designed this thing, they had, um, they had comfort in mind, and I'm willing to put the stakes on that for sure. And um, it's worth it. You're, if you're on the fence deciding if you should get one, get one. That um, Evertoon Bridge, it's pretty good. I like it. It stays in tune. When I pick up the guitar, I don't have to tune it. You know, it's just plug and play. Bam, you in it. You in it to win it. But in order to be in it to win it, you got to have the right instrument. And that's this one. I'll uh, be reviewing some of my other guitars and have them do kind of like some sound matches between the two but this one overpowers them by far those pickups i'm gonna say they're pretty hot they're hotter than emg actives they're really hot you plug in and this thing starts screaming but it's not screaming searing distortion out of control and it doesn't have microphonics it's really clean but um i guess that concludes this with this thing here um head on over to your local guitar center if they have one or music store of whatever sort if they have one and Put it through its paces before you decide to uh, buy it. But even if you did get it in the mail, I, I'm pretty sure you'll be, you'll be happy with that. You know, I did my own markings on there because I kind of like to know where I'm at when I'm looking at the skinnier strings. So that's my doing on that. The original guitar doesn't have that. They have the markings here on the top. But, you know, that's just a preference. Some people don't like markings at all. and They might black theirs out you know, where you don't see them. But in this case, you know, I like it like that because that's just the way I like to, to have my guitar marked so I know where I'm at on the fretboard. Thanks for watching.